How you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah. Everything all right with you? I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's... of Las Vegas? Yeah, it's just such a sad yeah. and, and strange time. It, it is. It is. And it, 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 it feels really... like it's not over either. It just feels like it keeps going on and on and on. I really appreciated what you said the other night about, you know, wanting to... <laughs> yeah, about wanting to come out and... Just wanting to tell jokes and, and be light, but it's, it's getting harder and harder to do that. I would imagine for you it's kind of hard. You're in the middle of promoting this movie that you worked for a really long time on, mm -hmm. and then this week, you know, this terrible thing happens, and not that movies really matter or anything, but it puts you in an uncomfortable position, doesn't it? Well, you know, you just think about all the, you know, there's so many people suffering right now and yeah. uh, all victims of all these hurricanes and obviously this shooting and, and uh, the earthquakes and it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's strange to be yeah. out and uh, talking about a film, but I can't imagine how you must feel being from Las Vegas right Did now. Did you spend a lot of time in Las Vegas? Have you been I there a lot? I spent a little time there, yeah. I know you're I, interested I, I in that Las Vegas mythology. But and... you grew up there. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was that? That's such an interesting place to be from. What was that Well, like? I never realized it was an interesting place to be from until I moved away from there and people kept saying, wow, what an interesting place to be from. <laughs> because, you know, for us, it was just where, you know, where we were from. I played Little League and, you know, we, I, was, I played clarinet in the band. And right. it was just like any other neighborhood, but we just happened to have... It was a little, in a way, like Anaheim in that... Disneyland is there, and but you're still, it's a town, it's a community. Right. And, um, and I think, you know, of course, Las Vegas, you know, it's always in the movies, and there are all these, you know, crazy things in the advertising campaigns, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, and, you know, all that is true for the people who are visiting there, but for the people that live there, it's kind of a regular place to live, except for instead of 9 to 5, your mom or dad might work midnight to 8 a.m., you know? <laughs> right. Or instead of being a, a, a plumber, your dad is a dealer at a casino, or yeah. you know, or your mom is a cocktail waitress, you know, which yeah. is it, you know, it's Did a strange thing. Did you ever run into any of the those iconic Las Vegas people? people? Yes, um, on a number of occasions, I um, I saw Liberace buying meat at the Mayfair Market, <laughs> which was pretty great. It's the middle of the night. He was wearing a hairnet, and he was just looking through, like, the, the cuts of beef. And I was like, wow, that's Liberace. <laughs> I saw Sammy Davis Jr. shopping for clothes in the boys section at Saks Fifth Avenue. Because <laughs> he was about this big. But they still had nice clothes for kids there, and he would wear kids' clothes. There were always, like, drunk Elvis impersonators all over the place. Uh -huh. I mean, it was the, you always run into those guys. There were a lot more Elvises back then. Isn't, it, your, isn't Cleto, aren't Cleto Jr. and Sr. from Las yes, Vegas as Cleto well? Yes, Cleto and yeah. the Cletos and I grew up right across the street from each other in Las uh -huh. Vegas. And we've been best friends since uh -huh. I was nine. Cleto was 10 years old. How'd you meet? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you all meet? Well, since you're asking, and I hate, I don't want to take away from your interview, but if you're interested... You want to know this, don't you? I will say. We met. <laughs> when we met, I was riding a bicycle wearing boxing gloves <laughs> and sunglasses at the time, which for some reason was weird. It was a rainy day, so that was... It was a rainy day. I was wearing sunglasses. <laughs> I had boxing gloves, and Cleo thought there was something wrong with yeah. me. <laughs> Why were you wearing boxing gloves? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it was, you know, I was nine. Right. I don't know. You just get, you have boxing gloves on, and you're just riding down the block, and Cleo's like, oh, the poor kid, he's, okay. like, a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> and befriended me, and that's how we became friends. <laughs> it's 100% <laughs> true. <laughs> and then Cleo's dad is a prankster and always was a prankster, and he would teach us these, like, things to do. Like, for instance, still to this day at their house in Las Vegas, there's a big spider nailed up to the court in the, like, you walk to the front door and there's a giant tarantula that scares you every single time. <laughs> you could go over the house a thousand days in a row, and each time you see it and you go, oh, and you're like, oh. It's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna nail that to your coffin when you're gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about you in Las Vegas? How many times have you been to Vegas? I don't know. <laughs> a lot or? You... Yeah, yeah, but I remember uh, the first time I went, I stayed. I like old Las Vegas when I first started going there. Yeah, I sure. At, uh, Golden Nugget. Wow. And I saw Don Rickles at the Stardust. Awesome. Well, I, tr I mean, I, when I say saw, you know, I, tr I almost saw him. You had bad seats? <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's a disheartening moment when you give your tickets to the usher and they have to go like, <laughs> you know, we won't need really the flashlight for this. Where that seat might be. <laughs> but I, we went, we were very, very high up, and I was with a friend, and he was just so desperate to make contact. He just, in a, in a, in a lull, not a lull, but a quiet point of the show, he just yelled, yelled Rickles. <laughs> and, uh, Rickles! Rickles! One of those moves? Yeah. And, and Don stopped, and he looked up. <laughs> And I forget what he said, but it was it was not it was it was wildly insulting. <laughs> but he had that amazing ability to make you feel like you know like like you just experienced some some magic trick by him insulting you. You, you know? did experience yeah. magic. And we floated out of there, and we'd had the most wonderful. Oh, I time, bet. You know? I bet. That's. I mean, that's. And you... thank you to you for for introducing me to him. To uh, Don Rickles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, he was very very excited to meet you. I mean, he was really up on like what's going on, which kind of surprised me. It was incredible. At, he knew everything at his happening. age. Yeah, he yeah. really did. Right. He knew your whole. It was like yeah. he studied you on IMDb <laughs> before. Uh... <laughs> did you tell him the story of your friendship? Shouting at him? No, God, no. No, no, because you know no. you just wind up getting it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and I'm glad I was able to fill in some blanks for you, Thank you as for far that. as my life goes. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.